Morning, ladies and germs. Uh, see, I got, just got a uh, customer drop this DVR off for a uh, closed circuit television. Uh, this is model uh, A-CDVR80. Uh, here's the back of it. Uh, this customer needs this done right away. Uh, it's for his. This is his main DVR for the uh, for his uh, closed circuit television system. And he needs this up right away, so uh, it's really important for his business. So I'm going to get to it. I want to do. I want to check the uh, power supply. Let's see. I don't know if we can get all this in one shot. 12 volts. What did it say? 12 to 24. So let's give it 13. We're seeing 40 milliamp, uh, 400 milliamps at 13 volts. It seems to be fluctuating. I have a blinking light. There's no gyroscopic action on this at all. That tells me the hard drive's not powering up. So let's check out the power supply. Let's crack it open. probably shouldn't be doing a video on this and just be working on it, but what the hell, right? Why not, right? Uh, it appears to be five screws. Possibly, I don't know what's going on down here yet. doesn't appear that this is, I don't know, I don't know yet. Alright, well, you get the idea. Let me get these screws out. Alright. Appears to just come right off like that. It's a nice enclosure. <clears throat> There's our hard drive. Let's get the hard drive out of the way. One thing we can try, we could try powering up the hard drive first, but what I want to see is if the board is actually giving the, the hard drive what it needs. I mean, it would be pretty easy to just slap this into a computer. There's actually five screws holding it. There was one hidden behind this ribbon cable here. I don't know why they're they're using a uh, a 40 pen rather than an 80 pen, and they're not taking full advantage of the speed of this drive. That's another story. Let's put this right here. Well, I can tell you already. This looks like a really nice board. Um, I'm seeing regulators here, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12. That's exactly what you would need for um, the, the the logic for the uh, for the main board, the 3.3 volts. The 5 and 12 would certainly be powering the uh, our hard drive here. And um, let's see, 25.96. Boy, I know that chip. I don't know if I have those though. Uh, let's, well, let's first things first. Let's let's check out the power. Let's see what we're getting. Let's get 12 volts. Uh, let's see. Where's my probes? 20 volt range.
Okay. I know you won't be able to see the meter, but let's see. I'm putting that on a uh, on a ground there. I'm getting plus 12.66 volts on that pin. 3.3. That looks good. That would be ground. 3.3. And ground again. Alright, so that looks like it's working properly. This would be our input. We're getting 12.6 volts, which is fine. The next out should be, that's 5 volts, it's 4.98 volts. Let's say input, we're getting 12.7, which is fine. And output is point, point 0.1. So we have a bad regulator right off the bat. Actually, it's fluctuating. Let me see if I can show you that. Let me get this fucking thing out of the way. Yay, moo cow. Hey, right, damn. All right. This is what we're getting on the 3.3 volt regulator. I don't know if you could see that. This is a nightmare. Input, 3.3 volt regulator, 12.7. Uh, the 13.05 on the bottom is our input voltage. This is our output on the 3.3 volt regulator. That looks fine. Input on the 5 volt regulator, same as the other one. This is the output, 4.99, spot on. Input on the 12 volt regulator. Exactly the same as the others, that's fine. Output 100 millivolts, 111 millivolts. Okay, 110 millivolts. Yeah, that's no good. Okay, so we found our problem. That's why the hard drive's not powering up. Okay, let me go check my stock. Turn that off, unpower this, and I'll be right back. Uh, and just to verify that it is in fact, just to verify the hard drive here, uh, I set up a uh, plus or minus 5 volts, and we'll turn it on. I don't know if you can hear that hard drive does in fact work. I'm getting a uh, gyroscopic action telling me that this hard drive is in fact spinning up. That's perfect. Alright, so it's not the hard drive. It just verifies one more thing, that's all. That, that regulator is shot. Alright. So, it looks like this guy right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder it. Uh, I should be able to get my iron in there without having to take it off the main, take the board out. Uh, so let's fire this up. I'm going to use some CeraBend to, uh, it's kind of like Chip Quick. It's, uh, it's a Chip Quick alternative, CeraBend. And uh, that's what I'm going to use to uh, to remove the uh, the main chip or the uh, the regulator off the board. Uh, let's see. Do another quick inspection on this. I'm looking at the data sheet here for the 2596. Um, never mind the 5.0. This is for all of them. Uh, but I'm interested in this capacitor here, so let's let's see if that's shorted to ground before I go yanking parts off the board and stuff. You know, let's. You know, after looking at the uh, the data sheet for this uh, for this regulator, I decided I'd check the uh, the diodes, and uh, guess what I found? This guy right here. 
is short. It's shorted. So, compared to the other ones here, I'll show you. I can't show you both at the same time because I'm not set up for it. Here, hold on to that. Alright, I got the camera set up. This is what a normal one would look like. That's right. That's good. This is what we're getting. 0.33 ohms. I reverse it. 0 0.36 ohms. There's a short. That would do it. That would do it. That would pull the, uh, the output to ground. Because that goes from the input... Where that goes from the output to ground is where that shocky diode goes. And if that's going to, and if that's a dead short to ground like it is, that would certainly do it. That would pull the uh, the output to ground and essentially short out the output. So, wow, maybe that regulator's still good. Wouldn't that be neat? I know. Let me see if I have that. I don't know if I have that part at all. I doubt it. I know the surface mount components that I have aren't that large. It looks like a large one. Let me see. What we have is a, uh, well, you can't read it, but I have a, it's a, it looks like Bravo 340. So let's see what that is. Alright. Uh, it's a 3 amp uh, shocky diode, just like it did uh, said in the uh, in the data sheet uh, for what was required for this chip or for this regulator rather. Uh, so I've pulled out something that I can use. That's a one in fifty eight twenty two. This is a three amp uh, shocky diode. Uh, it's uh, it's a through hole version of the surface mount. It's. Uh, I'll just have to bend the leads to fit the footprint, uh, but I, I think we'll be all right with that. Already ordered the damn thing, the other regulator, so I'll put in another order for the uh, for the diode. But this should keep us going for the night, and it's it's not a surface mount, but it'll fit in there, and I can get that on there. So let's see if we can get this going right now. It's, uh, there's my flux. Yeah, this would be a much better deal if that, in fact, is what the problem is. But I imagine it is because if the diode's shorted to ground, that will certainly throw off the, uh, the output of the regulator. Hopefully the regulator's still good. Throw some solder on here. I might have to use some CeraBend to get this up, but I don't know. We'll see. I might be able to get this up. Yep, oh, she's coming. There we go. Let me clean. Uh, let me clean that up. Let's see if I can get my solder sucker in there. Beautiful. 
All right, looking good. You want to take a look at this? Oh, you can't see it. All right, well. Here it is there. Let's test it again when it's out of the uh, out of circuit. 0.33. Oh, where'd you go? 0.33. Yep, there's your problem. Let's see. Yeah, I want to have a, secure, a safety diode on there. All right, so let's slap this on there. Let's just throw it in there. Which way are those going? Let's see. All right. Gonna bend the leads just like so. You see how they're so that should fit the uh, the footprint here. Let's see, it's not bad for eyeballing it, right? All right, let's get the uh, the alignment set up. Let me get uh let me get some solder on this pad here. Touch of flux. I think I'll do the back end first, just because of this more difficult so let's get some solder on that pad just like so where is my where are they cathodes going down I'm gonna readjust the leads on that because it's a little long I'm gonna readjust that I'm going to squeeze them in a little tighter. It's a little, it's a little out. And uh, I want this to be right. I know this is kind of a hack job, but you know, hey, what do you do? It's, uh, it's just one of those things right now. This guy really needs this thing working. And uh, I don't like disappointing people. And keep in mind, this is just temporary, just until tomorrow. And this this fix would this this repair would do the trick, probably for some time. Let's see how's that look. I like that. Nice and flush with the rest of the uh, the regulators there. Let's see if I can straighten that out a little bit. Come on, you. Some more flux on there. Where'd you go? That's a lot. Let's clean up the rear. See what we got. I like it. 
it's flush with the top of the board there there it is there you see how it's flush with the top so it won't be uh, my focus so that won't affect anything there uh, let's clean the uh, the flux well before I take the flux off let's let's verify that this even works How many IDE cables I've dealt with all through my life? Unbelievable. Come on. Okay. That looks good like that. Oh, man, you gotta be Chinese to fucking do this shit. Things are too big. All right, I'm just gonna hold this drive, and we're gonna see if she powers up properly. Uh, where are we? There we go. Power on. 13 volts, just like before. And let's hit power. Hey, hear that? You fucking hear that? There we go. Let's verify the uh, the voltages here, real quick. Boy, I don't want to. I want to set this down. Let's turn this off. I want to wait till the hard drive spins down. I'm gonna disconnect this because I can't lean this down on anything right at the moment. I can leave that plugged in, that won't hurt anything. Let's verify some voltages. Let's see if we got it. Let's see if we got it. Check this out. Let's check this out. Okay, here we go. I'm on a ground pad here. This is our input. We're getting 12.66. The output's right next to it. We're getting 12 volts on the on the dot, folks. Check this out. Check this out. Where are we? There. This is going to be one happy camper, this guy. 30 cent part. I don't know what I'm going to charge him for. Alright. Here is our input voltage. Here's our output voltage now. 12 volts on the nose. We have a winner, folks. Uh, keep in mind this is without a load, but it's no longer shorted the ground. And we all heard the hard drive fire up. So uh, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to actually uh, hook it up the uh, the DVR to a display and uh, verify that we're uh, getting recording. Okay, so let's turn that off. Uh, let me hook up a display real quick. We'll be right back. Alright, so we got a uh, test display up here. Uh, as you can see, let me... And I have the input cable coming out from the output of here. I have a piece of paper insulating the, uh, the hard drive. Because I haven't screwed it back in yet. Uh, I got the power supply up here. Let's turn this on. And we have a display. And I don't think you can hear it, but the hard drive is spinning. Configuration error, and it looks like it got reset. But, let's see if we can get a menu or something up here. Oh, yep. Yep, so the menu's working. And I'm, I'm, I'm right on the front here. Adjusting this, uh, this jog encoder here and uh yep so it looks like 
Looks like we're in good shape. All right. Yep. That's going to be a happy customer right there. Well, as you can see, uh, we got that going. Fucking shocky dial. Done deal. 30 cent part. Can't beat it. Love it. I have no idea what I'm going to charge. But uh, I'm hungry. So <laughs> let's. Uh, thanks again for watching. Good night, ladies and germs.